Hello and welcome once again fellow gaming fans, this is Small Archangel, thank you for joining me for this episode of Animalica. And uh, it's uh, dawn of a brand new day, we are wanting to make ourselves vegetable crates and fruit crates in order to uh, get ourselves a settlement agreement so that we can make more farms and things. And the bizarre thing is that the more farms and settlement items that we're able to craft, the more fruit, vegetable crates, etc. we're going to be able to make in our kitchen, which we placed in the last episode, just in here. Look at the size of that. Um, and the more, we're, yeah, more settlement agreements we're going to be able to buy, so the more we're going to be able to expand our settlement. So at this point, it's actually quite difficult because we haven't got the ingredients we need. We've got our food storage here, and as you can see, it's pretty full. Um, but we need eggplant, carrot, bell pepper, chili pepper, cucumber, tomato, and lettuce. And we need a heck of a lot of them. So these settlers, even the tier ones, do not come cheap. And they all want vegetable crates. And the tier two want, I think the tier one want vegetable crates and fruit crates. And uh, the tier two want vegetable crate, fruit crate, and uh, and a pastry crate as well, if I remember correctly. So we're going to have to make pastry too for that. And you can see these are sort of pastries here. One assumes we need to make those. And we're going to need to grow, you know, we're going to need to mill our wheat into flour, I assume, in order to be able to do that. But I'm not even looking into that just yet so so there you go we can see we've got some of the items that we need in here like tomatoes and things but we just don't have you know exactly what we need here six lettuces so not tons we are growing stuff in our rather nice greenhouse here um and you can see they have 100 percent grown which i can attest then that they uh they do actually grow um off camera so we'll just collect these cucumbers there we go they're all 100 percent grown lovely there we are and our bell peppers as well so there we go and we may have got we've got enough cucumbers now which is nice to know uh we've got aloe oh i need to put those somewhere as well we haven't got any seeds from those from uh, doing that but one thing is that uh slice and kill who is a, an animalica dev has said that if we plant herbal seeds this will give us uh ingredients for potions this is a very good thing and at this point i would rather like to do that i would rather like to uh, to plant some just to see what comes up now i don't know if it's going to be a case of this is random seeds we're growing now but we're going to give it a go uh lettuce seeds ha huh. now how do we do this because i don't see an option to use herbal seeds here unless i have to do it some special way Craftable gardening shed. Ooh, I don't have a gardening shed. Oh, yes, this is the gardening shed here, isn't it, right? This is the gardening shed. Right, okay. So what's craftable with this? Uh, horticulture requiring... No, they the require a gardening bed, which is craftable at the gardening shed, which we've done, which we have. And here are our gardening beds. And do I have the option? Herbal seeds. No, I don't, because I need a hundred of them. So we're going to need to collect rather more of those, unfortunately. So, But at least we know we can plant them. But then it's probably a bit of an RNG thing as to what actually turns up at the end of the day. So, uh, so there we go. Uh, so I've got these. I'm going to just put those. I don't know where to put these, because they really need to go back to land base, don't they? But I'm going to put them there. You can see we've got loads of fertile soil uh, to make some more gardening beds, but we need brick and our uh, gardening beds hello definitely uh, i can't get to my shed gardening beds definitely need there we are brick don't they there we go we need brick 40 brick for that so we need to find some more bricks and we need to find we can pl find plenty of those in the world i'm sure but for now we're gonna head into the wrong building whoops we're going to head to the other building. I'm going to put away the foodstuffs I've got. I haven't got enough for our vegetable crate yet. I should probably unpin it, but I'll keep it pinned just so that we can see what we need. Bell peppers, cucumbers. There we are. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're going to need more... I don't really need more tomatoes. There was certainly lettuce. We certainly need to be able to plant some things. Was it eggplant? Carrots. I think it's carrots that we need uh carrots we've got lots of chili peppers but we need carrots and uh 
we can't get seeds with carrots by eating them. We have to find seeds with carrots by picking them. So we're going to have to find some of those in the world to get seeds for them. Because we haven't got enough seeds to plant at the moment. So what we're going to do is we are going to head for our hot air balloon. And we're going to head somewhere out in the world. And we're going to see if we can find, well, bricks. That's on our shopping list, definitely. Uh, but also carrots yeah so we want to go to a place that's nice and fertile and is likely to have uh farming uh items and food and seeds we want to pick up as many cans of seeds as we find in the world also amber hills might be a good place green hills is certainly a good place as well um let's see is there anywhere at high rose <gasps> This is new. We haven't been to Pestilentia or Slice Land, but there's nothing at Slice Land. It's just for building. Uh, Pestilentia is danger zone. So that's good for going when you, you're packing lots of weapons and armor. Not ready for that at the moment. Not doing that right now. High Rose is a new one. Hmm. We really ought to check that out, shouldn't we? I have no idea what we're going to find, but let's go and see. Okay, here we are. Well, this is a pretty place, and it does look promising. What beautiful colour flowers. Got a rock there, but I'm not here for rocks. We've got some sort of deer over there. Oh, and glowing shrooms. Always good to grab some of those. They don't give us any... Uh, they obviously don't give us any seeds when we pick them up. But I am looking out for plants as we go, obviously. Okay, there's a little shack over here. Should we probably check that out first? There's a cow... And a rabbit. We've got a few of those. Oh, look. Melons. And eggplants. Yes, I will grab whatever I can. We don't need those. Is that a rock? That's a rock. Oh, there's a dude. Hello, dude. I don't suppose I can talk to him or anything, can I? I cannot. I wonder if there's a settlement agreement here because I did wonder if there might be settlement agreement. Hello. I'll just steal your wood, settler. Um... If there'll be settler man agreements near to near to where you find actual NPCs. But I don't see one. I'll nick that wood as well. Excellent. Right, let's go in his shack and see if we can find anything in here. Milk. You know what? We're actually going to flour. We're going to need this stuff now. Tomatoes. Yay. Wool. Wool. Ingots. I'll just steal everything he's got. You know what? I would, in point of fact, milk seeds. Do that one's not nickable. There we go. Sugar, toilet paper, whatever. Crafted leather, magazines, wild seeds. I'll have everything you've got. Um, yeah, I would. I would kind of give him something back in return if I could. Oh, and garlic. I can steal his garlic even there. I've denuded the entire place of everything. Um, which is lovely, isn't it? What a thief. Um, but, uh, yeah, I would give him a job uh, if he was prepared to uh, work for me. But it doesn't appear that he is. We've got no settlement agreement here. So, uh, we can't check out his privy. Why would we want to? There he is over there. See, I think I should be able to talk to the, the guy and say, hey, how about you can work for me? That is a cute cow. It looks like an Angus or something. That is really cute. Look at its furry ears. And there's another guy over here and another cow. I could steal his cows too, but there's no point because I've never got enough uh, potions to, to tame and cure them all as it is. So, all right, let's see what else we've got around here then. Is there a horse in this place? Doesn't look like it. Now, this being a new area, um, I'm not sure what it's going to feel like. Sometimes new biomes... Uh, as some of you have said yourselves, seem a little bit kind of empty and unfinished. And this one may be like that. But it looks pretty. I'll give it that. So we'll see if we can find anything around here. Obviously, I've got some baking ingredients here, which is going to be good. And we've got some seeds. Carrot seeds! Oh, yes. Stupendous. Carrot seeds and lettuce seeds. We definitely wanted carrot seeds. So that is a big result for a start off. So we're going to have to do plenty more exploration of the world, I think, in order to try and build up our settlement. But it could take some time. And I'm not sure how much time we've got, really, because uh, what I'm planning on doing is stopping uh, the Animalica series at the point at which uh, Seven Days to Die 
Alpha 17 comes out in full release because we're going to want to do three uh, episodes a week of that at that point. This series has been quite long. It does take quite a lot of time to get places established, settlements and things established. And uh, yeah, generally speaking, I don't have the time off camera to do this. So, lavender. Not quite sure what I want lavender for, but hey. This is very pretty. Oh, there's this little tower which is off the splash screen. I wonder what that is. We've got to go check that out. And I am just ignoring the rocks at the moment. But buildings do tend to be a good source of loot. This is just a little old ruin. Got some azalea, but oh, I can see. I'm not used to uh, having to fight monsters now at the moment, but there is one over there. What is this? Cucumbers! Yay! Definitely approach all plants that you see. Uh, apart from that one, because oh, that's just chicory. I can't remember if I need chicory for potions, but I think it's on the list somewhere. Right, let's see what we got here. What's this? Wild seeds. Hello. Oh, and there is some other stuff as well. Great. We'll just go around the outside. Bricks. Oh, bricks! Superb. Yes, we definitely want bricks. Of course, in making this new zone, devs probably were thinking, oh, what are people really going to want for their settlements? Rum. Okay, I'm not quite sure what we want that for, but pottery. All that. Charcoal. I'll just pick everything up. Chest. Gold ingots. Animal bone. Candles. Light source. Hmm. And pearls. There for what we got, crafting ingredient. Animal bone. I have no clue, frankly. I will just fill up my uh, my inventory. Now that is empty. We can't get up to the top of it. Strange looking little tower it is. That is just an azalea bush, I think. Plant fibre, okay. I'm not sure we need plant fibre at this juncture. Let's just head up this way a little bit. And see what else. Oh, there we go. Monster border. Okay, I might have to. Just put that chick away. Might have to see if we can sort that out. But I just want to have a little look. That's where... Oh, this is a graveyard. So if these monsters kill me, this is where we're going to end up. Now, these look like gore hounds. Is that what they're called? I think they are. Let's just see if we can get our suspended shack. I'm taking no... Uh, I'm taking no uh, chances here. There we go. And I'll have my crossbow. And it's not got any arrows in at the moment. Uh, standards will do. I've got tons of them. Who are you shooting at? Who are you trying to hit, pal? Oh! I thought I'd killed him for a minute, but no, he's going to be an awful lot harder to kill than that, isn't he? There he goes. That other one there is way too close. Where do you think you're going, sunshine? Bit of a dipstick. Got some great AI, these beasts, I'm telling you. Right, there we go. Now we'll see if we can get any arrows. Oh, yes. Nice. Now we'll see if we get four arrows apiece. But I'm getting them back. This is great. Let's see. Is there another one? I'm pretty sure there's another one. So, poor AI or not. Because they have a... They pack a hefty punch. Oh, great. Can't see it. Way over there. Have to wait for him to come out from behind that tree. Yes, hit him. Wow. He's uh, just standing there and taking it. Okay. And I think that's it. The three of them is it. So, we'll head on over there, get our arrows back again. Um, and then I will risk, I will loot the corpse shortly, but for the moment I guess we're going to need to trash this with our trusty maul. Sledgehammer, here we go. And I'll avoid taking the corpses until we know this is gone. My, they take some hits. I obviously need a higher level 
sledgehammer. Right, now let's take the corpses. So, we'll loot this one. There we go. Hellhound head, corrupted heart, hard skin and animal fat. Uh-oh, crud. Where did he come from? I didn't even see that before. Well, they're not respawning now, so we may as well just take the ones we have killed and then deal with the final one. I was just thinking, three isn't that high a number, but I couldn't see him before. Let's just see if we can see him from up here. Possibly not, because I didn't before. No, I don't see him from up here. Okay. Just want to see what this plant is here. Ah! Crap! No! He's seen me! It was... Whoa! Oh. An arrow is stuck in midair. Right, now where's he gone? Oh, he's over there. Okay, I can see you now. And now you're just going to sit there and let me shoot you repeatedly in the bum. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, you fool. Okay, there we go. Now, that really must be it now, surely. Arrow, arrow, arrow. And loot him. Super. There we go. Now, I think we need to take our suspended shack. And I'll keep that in my hot bar, I think, just to make sure that it's where we need it in case we find another. And we may well. There we go. And unfortunately, none of those, they don't drop monster scales for our upgrading our armor. But hard skin, I think, we need for that. So that's good. Okay, let's just pack our crossbow to make sure we've got that literally on hand. If anything else should manifest itself. Okay, so even if we don't find any more... Ooh, hello, one of those. Even if we don't find any more buildings, we can still find... Plants, crops, etc. growing in the wild. And if we do, we need to pick those. There's an astonishing lack of grass here, which is interesting. What's this? It's cannabis, right? Cannabis, yes. I don't know that we really need that. Um, so, there's another plant over here, and we'll go towards that as well. There's a log. Do you know what? Logs are pretty useful things. We're going to have that. And that is cannabis. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not going to get the cannabis. We do use it as one of our potion ingredients, but I don't think we're really lacking in that right now. I would appreciate some herbal seeds if we can find them somewhere. Okay, I'm going to do the usual thing. The hot air balloon is behind me, which means I'm going the right direction to explore this place. I'm going to go uphill, because then we can sort of see what's around us. So we can see if there's any more monster spawners. We can see if there's any more buildings to head towards. And there's definitely no horse here. I can't see a marker on there. So I don't know if this is a work in progress. Because apart from the two cows that the NPC dude had. Or the guys. There were two of them. Had. I haven't seen any animals either. So may well be. This place is not finished yet. Got something that looks like a plant over here too. But it's not. It's a mouldy old bucket and a log. Okay, well, it looks like a big enough place which suggests that it should have some more locations in it. I'm still heading away from the hot air balloon. At least we get an idea of how big the place is. And if we don't have any joy here... Oh, there's another tower there. Lovely, we'll go towards that. Um, if we don't get enough... Oh, there's a monster spawner in a shack over there. Ooh, mm, yeah, we'll go that way. Um, yeah, if we don't get what we're after here, we just have to explore elsewhere to find them. There's some sort of swampy mangrove down there. Which looks interesting. Uh, right, we're going this way. And there's another cow. So this is another little NPC place, perhaps. And if it is, that may be another possibility to find NPC se well, settler man agreement. But I don't know. It may be that the only one I've found is the only one that there is to be found on our Parshi. Hello, cow. This is another... Oh, it's not a woolly cow. This one's more of a smooth-skinned cow. And actually, I'm not sure if there's an NPC here at all, is there? 
No, just a shack. So that's a cow that we could take because it's not, it doesn't belong to anybody. Bricks, bricks. Oh, yes, stunning. Exactly what we needed. It's a couple of what look like Herefordshire's here. Oh, look, some poo. I'm not entirely sure why we need animal feces. Fertiliser, one assumes. But I can't actually pick it up. Maybe my character has more taste than I do. I don't know. Surely she's got a little bag or something she can put it in. Right, let's have a little look. Where are you running from? There's two monster spawners over there. Let's see if we open this. We cannot open this. Okay, so we're not getting in there then. That is disappointing. Well, we found lots of bricks on the outside of it, so that is a result. There's some more animal feces. Hmm... Okay, that's interesting. And that's oh now are these the kind of monsters I can get monster scales from? I'm not sure, but we're gonna give it a try. Aha, uh -huh, there's one here. They certainly look like it to me. Stop running. Gotcha. Gotcha again. Ah, missed that time. He's dead. Okay. Could only take a couple of arrows from him, I think. Oh no, I can take four. I think the amount of time that the arrows stay there has been increased. Which. Ah! Oh, holy crap! In my face! That is not good. Okay, where did he come from? Come to avenge the death of his mate, I think. But where on earth has he gone now? I can't see him. I don't know where he's gone. Okay, he must have gone back somewhere. For the moment, I'll shoot this one. There we go. Oops. Good job I killed him just then. Otherwise, uh, that might have been a bit sticky. Now, unfortunately, I can't collect arrows from him because I can see one. But I just get holdy to loot. Oh, nuts. I've got loads of arrows. It's not a problem. And there are loads of these things. Right. Because the other one is quite far away. I will just hit this one, I think. We'll just destroy this one while we can. While we can, And I think I can see another structure over the distance behind this. So once we've destroyed these, we'll head over in that direction. Alright, I'm going to move. I'm going to loot these. There we go. Okay. And uh, then I'm going to move this closer to... All right, let's finish this pest control job. Gotcha. Now, just have to hope that we don't get... There we go. Now, did we, in point of fact... Get mo oh, we did get monster scales. Super. I thought they were the right kind of monsters. Excellent. So I do know them when I see them now, which is great. Let's just take a pot shot at this one. Yep, I'm getting better at hitting you in a run. And he's down. Superb. There we go. It does get difficult to pick up the arrows. When you've got more than one of them at once. Arrow. There we go. Now, how many more have we got to go? Two? I think so. Though it can be difficult to tell. Sometimes it's difficult to see. Yes. There we go. We're getting a real pile of them now. But I won't loot them because, obviously, if we do that... Oh. We're, uh, 
I'm not sure I could get that one. There we go. Just about. Um, yeah. If we uh, if we loot them, we're risking respawning, which is not what we want to happen. Because we've still got a nest over there to destroy. Now, can I reach all the way over there? No. No, I can't. Okay, so we're going to have to re relocate. Okay, now, can I reach this beast from here? Should be able to. I think I can see an animal over the distance. It looks like some sort of bear. And he's down. Fantastic. Uh, where's he got my arrows, though? There's one, and there's one there. And we can loot him now. Oh, except I haven't destroyed this, have I? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's destroy it pronto. There we go. Good O. And then we'll get the other two as well. Get ourselves some more monster scales. Two or three. There we go. We've actually got three or several of them. Now we've got 12 monster scales. Now our reinforced pants, we need uh, to <laughs> we need to turn those into uh, hardened, if that's the... Uh, the name for them. Uh, oh, now, there is a monster over there, actually, isn't there, as well. Okay. I think we need to take care of that, too, don't we? Ugh, much as I don't like having to do this with the shack all the time, I know what happens if we don't. We end up having our faces bitten off. There it is. Now, where's he gone? run off in the opposite direction for some reason. Ow! That was stupid. Ag. Okay, one more shot should do it. Perhaps not! Perhaps he's the boss guy. Oh, missed. Now we've done. Okay. And he took more arrows than the others, and I can't seem to pick him up. Collect that arrow I shot into the ground. Arrow, arrow. And the other arrow I can't get. Oh, yeah, I can. There we go. Wow, he's got... Okay, let's take his corpse. All right, now I think we can safely take this. There we go. And head in the direction. Well, there's a little room in here, but I dare say there won't be anything of interest around it. No, not really. And there was, yeah, there's a little shed over there, which I'm going to head towards. Now, it's getting on for evening time. Um... So we probably, and I haven't got a sleeping bag with me because I keep forgetting to bring or to make a new one because unfortunately, um, yeah, we've got the, the old sleeping bag is now in uh, our parshi being used as a bed. Uh, so, uh, oh, and we need some water as well. I find it a little bit difficult to judge what I've got in my hand now because uh, unfortunately... Now, what's that plant down there? It's cannabis, I think. Uh, unfortunately, they, they don't show in your hand any longer, so uh, it can be difficult to, to know if you're actually holding some food or not. There's another monster spawner over there, but we're going to ignore that for the minute, and we're just going to head up here to this shack, which... Oh, it does have something. It's got some marble. Oh, yes! I will work for food or shelter. Tier 1. Yes, 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 yes! There we go. So they do, they do exist on uh, buildings. So that was definitely worthwhile. And we've got a couple of other structures around here as well, which we will also investigate. In the meantime, we're still on the lookout for resources for our Apache base. 
and of course uh, seeds uh, and crops that we can get crops and seeds from to make our fruit and veg craze. So, folks, we're going to leave this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, do the usual. Hit that like button and let me know. Also, feel free to leave me your comments and your tips and hints. Let me know how you're finding the gameplay. And I will see you in the next episode. I hope until then, keep game. Stay happy and bye-bye for now.